of Jesus in John 15 verses 1 to 8. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. I imagine that most of us have experienced that desperate state in which we cannot connect to the internet. The broadband goes down at home, we go through a tunnel on the train, we've used up all our mobile plan for this month, we simply cannot connect to the internet. And it always happens at the worst possible moment, doesn't it? What to do? Despite our frustration, I think we can all admit that this is a recent problem in human history. 30 years ago, none of us had the internet. 10 years ago, we were just beginning to get smartphones. And yet, just a short time later, we are all hopelessly addicted. Okay, not quite everyone, but it must include you if you're watching this video. Why am I talking about the internet? Well, John chapter 15 is all about connectivity. Jesus' connection to us and our connection to him and how that relationship works. In our series about the different names of Jesus, which are so varied, we come to the true vine. It is one of the I am sayings by which Jesus identifies himself with the I am of the Old Testament, which of course was so blasphemous for the Jews of Jesus' time. So why does Jesus describe himself as a tree and why a vine? One of the first lessons of Bible study is to look out for repeated words. And in the passage that Sheena read to us, there is a clear winner, the word remain. It is used eight times, so it must be significant. And it is. The amazing truth is that God, through Jesus, wants to be intimately connected with us and live his life through us to produce fruit, spiritual fruit. Just think about that. Our God is not a distant, disconnected God, but one who wants to live in and through us, just as sap is the life-giving energy of a tree. Obviously, a branch is connected to the tree and cannot survive without it. And this connection is mutual. As Jesus says, you are in me and I am in you. No tree can produce fruit unless it has a healthy living relationship with the fruit producing branches. Think about it. God chooses to work this way with us. Now for a pause for a short Spanish lesson. As many of you know, Shuna and I spent 11 years in Spain. And I can remember reading John 15 verse 5 in my Spanish Bible. I am the vine and you are the branches. And I was thinking, that's not the word for branch. And it isn't. The word used in Spanish is pampano. Of course, they do know a little bit more about growing grapes in Spain. What pampano refers to is simply the fruit producing shoot or the tendril at the end of the branch that produces the grapes. The farmer tending the vine only cuts back those shoots at the end of the branch that will produce greater fruit, not the branches of the vine itself. Now for a little Greek lesson. When it talks about being pruned in verse 2, it is basically the same word as clean in verse 3, where it says, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. And both of those words 
come from the Greek that we translate cathartic. And a cathartic experience is one that makes us feel free, clean or released. But the idea of pruning conjures up the idea of being cut back, of loss, even pain. And yet what is being described here is God the Father as the head gardener preparing us for better and more fruit. There are times in our life that are undoubtedly hard, a struggle, and yet God can and does use those times to bring us into closer connection with Jesus, the true vine. Our challenge is not to resist those times, but to embrace them. Can you think of a time like that? And how did God use it for your spiritual growth? Grapes are a wonderful symbol of abundant fruitfulness and Jesus offers the possibility of living life remaining connected to him, to be fruitful, to be abundant. Ironically, the prayer of my conversion, even though I did not know that's what it was at the time, was, God, I cannot live this Christian life. You will have to live it through me. And he has. Sheena's going to pray for us as we finish. Father God, as we celebrate the gift you have given us in Jesus, thank you for all that this precious gift means to us. Today we thank you especially for the powerful image we have of Jesus as the true vine, and for the even more incredible, intricate and intimate image that we who belong to Christ can be a productive part of this vine, grafted in as a fruit-bearing branch. Thank you too for the permanent nature of this unique relationship, that we can be constantly connected to Jesus, with the invitation to remain in him and the assurance that he will remain in us. May this knowledge strengthen and encourage us today and bear much fruit for your glory, Father. Amen.